can't see you, but I can feel you all the time in my head. The room is quiet, I don't stop trying to see your eyes. And you'll fall asleep in the candlelight and awake in the night. I can't see you, but I can feel you all the time in my head. 
The room is quiet. I don't stop trying to see your eyes. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Park University Esports channel. Uh, today, we're actually going to be facing up in a best of three against Fautborn University. Why don't you tell us about our uh, about our players, Caesar? Yeah, so uh, this is Deronimo here, one of the players with uh, the other League of Legends team here at Park. Uh, I'll go ahead and introduce the team that Park's representing with Ark is being played as Nathan. He's our top. Running the top lane, Dingus Khan, it played by Vincent Payne, and he's our jungle. The Corsair is played by Jake, and he's our mid laner. Zero Derps is Nick, is also the team captain, and he's taking the role of ADC. Rarko is played by Brennan, and he's our support. So it's really interesting to see how everything's gonna be played out against is a bomb bomb. Font Bond. Font Bond. Interesting name. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll, okay. Font Bond. If you're if you're watching right now, I apologize. Uh, totally I did not look up the pronunciation of that, and that's fine. It sounds French. <laughs> I like it. Sounds French. I, I like it too. <laughs> and um, yeah. So Caesar. So you're with Team Demacia. Um, yes. How have things been going on over there? It's been pretty good. Uh, this is actually one of my first years of playing with Park, and it's really interesting. Um, I don't really play a lot of games, and I, I used to play League of Legends back in the day, so it's really interesting how the whole meta of the game has changed since, oh man, I played last, last time I played was in season three and four, so it's changed a lot. Oh yeah. The map has changed, Every players have changed, um, the, even the play style of how the game is played has, has changed. So it's really interesting to see the whole dynamics of everything changing. I mean, I played since the beginning, oh. back when there was like, what, eight or 10 champions or so, and now it's it's exploded to over 140 of them. I I don't know how you guys do it. I really don't. It, that's, that's just too many abilities, too many things to keep track of. But I guess you only truly know unless you play the game. So. Right, right, right. No, the guys the guys that have been playing it for a while, they've been doing a really good job of catching me up on the met, current meta, also watch, all of our practices have been watching uh, pro players playing. World is going on right now, so watching them playing is really cool to see how really competitive play is being played out, I guess. Compared yeah, how to, it's meant to be played. Right, sort of those guys are on an IQ level of a 200 uh, compared to how I used to be playing just for fun with friends and whatnot, just a, kind of on a solo basis, not really in a competitive. Ne yeah, I never you know, thought that in a competitive sense you would go right into it. Right. Oh. And it looks like we're actually gonna finally jump into the drafting part here. They were doing some pro drafting behind the scenes here and it looks like they've, they've all made their decisions on who they're gonna go ahead and ban. And it looks like Font Bond University will go ahead and ban out Silas, which makes total sense because I believe that was uh, uh, our top laner, uh, Nathan there. He was constantly picking up Silas in the last weekend. Yep. Um, and Parker's gonna go ahead and ban out uh, Yasua. Yeah, he's a he's a broken champion right now too. If he gets ahead, it's basically almost game over for someone that can control him really well. Uh, 
and that they're banning out Jinx too. Yep, makes oh, sense because okay. uh, Nick uh, he's been doing really really yes. good with Jinx. It's one of his main characters, I think. So uh, right now it looks like Fon Bond is just going with the traditional strategy of just finding their their main most played champions and just going, yep, get them out of here. Those stats look pretty good and. They don't want them to be playing at their best, and that's probably a good thing because Park has been really picking we, it up. Yeah, yep. we've been picking it up. Uh, Park will then go ahead and ban out. Uh, what was that? Urgot. Urgot. Yes, I yes. was about to say Thresh, but that's what Font Bond then banned. Interesting. And Thresh is really strong too. Brennan can control him really well. I think he mains him, and just I think he's also said he's playing him in every other, every lane. Yeah, <laughs> which I mean, is, might is well. pretty cool. Oh, Morgana's going to be banned out. Okay. So it's funny for us because from our perspective, we know what the enemy team is going to ban just because we've seen these guys play before. It's really easy to predict. And then Font Bond, though, uh, or what Park is actually banning is making me go, okay, sure. Yep, right. get, get her <laughs> out of here, too. I mean, these are all <laughs> strong characters. I mean, they have a lot of... Yasuo is, again, a broken champion right now. Like, he is so strong if you get ahead. Urgot, same thing. To take on, can hold on his own for by himself without anything. And we're going to have so much CC. And I mean, banning her is probably a really smart choice, if we, especially for our comp that wants to, a little bit of mobility. Oh yeah, and then you know, seeing here too, Pantheon has been climbing. Yes. Meta. Before he was at pretty much the bottom, I would say. Like I, I don't see Pantheon being played until right. his rework. And then his rework came out, and people were like, I don't know if I like it. Right. And I well, think it's now. Now really that everybody good. got right, I think now that everybody has had a chance to play him and understand how to work him. Oh my God, he's been. I think everybody's been banning him really. So I don't. It's really surprising that they didn't ban Pantheon. He's so powerful right now. He's just all over the map and he has a lot of uh, different abilities that can help out the team in any kind in any duration of the game. His ulti is more useful too. Yeah. Before yeah. it was kind of. Uh, it was a good initiator, I suppose, but he would just get deleted really, right. really quickly. Um, so going over on who, for, for those who, uh, you know, are quite seeing what's going on here. So Sejuani is being picked over at Park along with Akali. Um, Font Bon went ahead and uh, did actually a few more bands here. Uh, they banned out Nico as well as Kled. Uh, Kled is interesting. I didn't think Kled would actually get banned. Right. That's, so we actually, it's funny because I sat down with Nate the other day, like maybe like about two weeks ago and saw how well he played Kled. Not, not this Nate, you know. Fon right, Bond's right. Nate, the, our right? Nate, our, <laughs> yeah. Arc, our, our Quark University, Arc, he plays Kled really well. And so I think they saw that he had, he had a really good win rate with that character. And so they decided to ban him. But it's funny because they already went, they already picked Pantheon. So kind of, yeah, you I know. Mean... <laughs> So the way it works is they'll ban three champions on each team, and then every every each team will have a chance to pick their three three champions, and then they'll have an ability to ban two more champions, and then they finish off by choosing their, their each perspective two champions left. And it's really weird because they banned Kled as their one of their last picks when Pantheon usually Kled goes on top on the top lane. He's and Pantheon specifically got a top lane. I don't think right. he has. I don't think I've ever goal. seen him. Yeah mid or any other lane Alrighty, and um yeah this kind of looks like a typical park university team comp right here um yeah yep. um, i feel it's going to be pretty strong as it was last weekend although um things just started to fall off after the early game so hopefully park is you know we, we worked on that and right. uh, will be much much better in that mid to late game probably uh, i know that there was a lot of discussion about ward control and all that um, so I think Park will do a good job on that. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what Font Bond has to uh, bring to the table. Um, you guys got some great names, uh, like, you know, I Am Zums, and then Apple Tamer, uh, Slayans, and Nmeh, and then Nate. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you guys, stop. Don't, don't give me a stroke, okay? <laughs> Um, so they're going to go ahead and choose their loadout, and then we'll be set into a three-minute spectator delay. So currently we're actually at a five-minute delay, and then on top of a spectator delay. So you know, there's, a, there's a good eight minutes of, of, of wait, really. Of wait, and, and it, technically, I mean, you're actually waiting three minutes right. as you're watching the stream, but for us, we're, it's a while. 
<laughs> and we're like, I hope you guys get to see the awesome thing that just happened five minutes ago. Um, so hopefully we'll see that. And um, yeah, the stream is, uh, I'm just going to keep doing this bit. This stream is always brought to you by water. Um, please hydrate. It's really good for you. <laughs> All right. And, and then what did you bring? You brought a monster? Yes. I I wish I was an affiliate for monster. I know. Hey, I, I'd be supporting them. Hey, monster, if you ever do get to hear this. Come sponsor us. Please. Right, because come sponsor us, please. Please, we're begging you. We need, we need the caffeine. We need the we need the energy to uh, to, to beat Font Bon University. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, there's actually a lot that's currently happening today. Um, so after this, at, at our 2 p.m. game here, we have a 4 p.m. game where uh, Caesar here will actually go over and play with Team Demacia. Um, and I believe they're going to be going against the Southeast Missouri State University. Woo! Yes. That's going to be fun. Um, and then uh, we also have uh, Rocket League that's currently playing today. Overwatch is also playing today here at 3 p.m. Uh, fortunately, we won't be able to stream them because we only have one streaming setup going on at the time. Um, and, of course, one channel to stream all this to. So, um, yeah, you guys will see reruns of that next week. Um, I wish that spectator delay went down faster. I, I right. want I want to hop into the action. I'm I know. Like, no, we got. Well, I'm we got. Go. We got a minute thirteen, right? Yep, minute and thirteen. Now. Man, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how everything's played out. Jarvin's a really good jungler. He's kind of well rounded. Depending on how Apple Team or builds them, it will depend on how they initiate. It's him and Nautilus at the bottom for Nate. They are really, really good defender or initiators, I guess, for team fights. Sezwani got nerfed in the last couple patches ago but I mean they also got Pantheon on our side and then the two bottom Zaya and Ra Ra Rakan those couples are those say, are really good I, I know bottom. That, I know that they're really good you know bottom laner but um, how do they stack up against you know a, uh, a, a Nautilus and, uh, and a Kai'Sa Kai'Sa is one of those champions that it's a hit or miss with her Nautilus right now, I think he is really strong He's in the meta. He's consistent. Yes, yeah. he is. I have yet to see like a bad Nautilus. It's really um, hard to get a bad Nautilus. Unless, right. You know, He's super strong, and, and he get he can get around the map pretty easy. Um, but again, I've I've had Zyra and Rakan that do some damage that it's hard to take them out just because they can ping get back to each other really quick and avoid damage and uh, and kite really well. So I guess we're about to start and see. Yep. Excited. Let's Back get it. Delays. Let's get Over. it. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, let us know about your guys' thoughts. Here, here is our lovely Bilge Water team. And don't worry, Caesar. Your face will be up oh, here, you know, perfect. soon. Um, so, as you can see here, this is the face of a team, a winning team. That That's will be right. uh, crushing Font Bond. Font Bond. No, no hard feelings. Um, this Rocket League music is confusing me. I'm sorry, Blood Blood. It, <laughs> I get it. It's because you play a lot of Rocket League, and you know what? I think actually Rocket League has all of Monster Cat's music for the most part, so I don't I don't fully blame him for that. Alrighty, so uh, we are now in game here. Um, I think I need to actually click into it for it to show up. Hold on. Hold on, just a moment. There it goes. Go. All right, so let me get the scoreboard up along with time controls, and oh. we're back into a pause i think uh oh headset problem with apple tamer gotta get your apples together team come on <laughs> <laughs> so it'll just be a moment here and then uh then we'll hop right back in so yeah um you know what this is actually a really good time to kind of explain how the game is played what what, yeah. what, what happens you know so usually um, i guess so in the very beginning you'll have each each team will go in their perspective corners our team looks like we're going to be in the top right. We call it red. And then the other team, uh, Font Bon, will be on the bottom left. And that side is called blue side. Uh, so there's each each side has lanes that go to them. Um, can they see our arrows? Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, right. yeah, they can see okay, our, they can see our, our mouse cursor boy? here. Okay. So but in the, look in the bottom right, everybody, if you're wanting to see how these lanes kind of play in because they, they've already been like lit up by the uh, fog of war. Um, it looks like they fixed their headset issue. So here we are back into the game. And uh, Parker is going to go ahead and do their first kind of buys. You can actually see their listing items here in the very bottom of the scoreboard. Uh, you know, 
Vladimir grabbing that uh, Doran's ring because I don't know why you, why you wouldn't. Uh, Pantheon going ahead and grabbing some corrupting potions, and you know everything else is pretty much standard from there. Um, so it looks like Park is actually just going to go ahead and camp in their bush up here uh, near Wolves. And um, wow, look at Fontbon just kind of spreading all over the place. I guess they're just trying to prevent any kind of invades or seeing if anyone's going to be invading. Right, they have a good five-man front up against. They're preventing the invade really more than anything, just to get vision around river. Right. Um, our guys are just making sure that they're not getting uh, their blue side uh, sentinel take, taken out. Which it looks like uh, looks like Mantheon over here is maybe gonna want red. Is that is that a thing? Or were you just or like your wanting, jungler no. just like, uh, hey jungler, I want I want red buff. Give me red buff. No, no. Says okay. will probably clear. It's probably a faster clear for Says to take his red side first and then go to blue. Oh yeah. No, yeah, you're right. It would be. Mm. I'm actually gonna try to let the directed camera do a little bit of in terms of the panning run, at least at the slower part. I know when things start to pick up, it uh, gets wild. So, uh, Fawbon's gonna go ahead and take out the red buff as well as Park. Yep. So, we're starting on opposite sides of the map. And then we're gonna look actually back over here into mid lane. So, Akali versus LeBlanc. Oh, LeBlanc. Oh, man, that's a tough matchup. Yeah, that is, that is a very tough matchup, especially because of the simple fact of range versus not so much range. I mean, Akali does have abil ranged abilities. But it's gonna take time. Like LeBlanc, right. LeBlanc, LeBlanc is really up from good. the very early. But Akali also is just known for just doing really good damage to squishy characters. Right. Yeah. Oh, and they did a good little trade in the very beginning. Yeah. Okay, down the bottom. Oh. And Ari already automatically good. gets a second ability, levels up, and, and initially goes in. Nice. And actually, uh, you know, now now Mantheon has some uh, some health in his favor. By the way, I always call Pantheon Mantheon. <laughs> um, yeah, I just have it, just have it. And Park is actually going to take some good damage here, right down at the bottom. Nas goes ahead and wards the little bush on off river. Yeah, I'm hoping Park can, uh, can get that cleared out or start warding the same area. Otherwise, uh, their J4 is going to uh, take that advantage. Right. Ooh, they're doing a lot of trades right Ooh, now. Ooh, and man. there oh, is first man. blood by Kaisa. Ooh, LeBlanc doing some uh, some great damage there, and of course burning the flash for Akali, which honestly, yeah, we, we don't want to give the mid laner any kills right now. Right. So definitely worth it. Um, and it looks and like J4. It looks like J4 is waiting to go in. Oh, he no, cleared he, a vision, okay. Yeah, he's just clearing vision. I don't think he's quite ready to go yet. He may be waiting for ulti. I doubt it, though. Um, looks like bot lane's actually going to try to retreat. Well, says so Wani's in the mid, also clearing. They're both headed towards mid. I'm actually surprised he is not, uh, he's not backed out yet. He's playing it really risky right now. Oh, he's finally backing out. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, you're, you're really low, my friend, please. There we go. There we go. There you go, Mantheon. Oh. Hate to see it. Hate right. to see it. I almost got him. And J4 was actually kind of close, too. He was actually getting ready to set up to assist, but um, Mantheon did the right decision and backed away. Right. Forget what does uh, what does the big toad man give after you? Get, is it just mainly golden? Health? Right, it's just golden mana. Okay, I thought I thought he also gave a special ability here, and it looks like Park was actually able to place down a, uh, a nice seeing board here and was able to clear out a uh, font bonds ward for for bottom. So now yeah. it's uh, now it's more ideal in Park's favor to get that gank. Right, setting up for a nice little support supportive gank. Supportive gank. You know, I need... Oh, and actually, J4 is oh. coming around the bush, coming in for the gank to warn help him. out Bump Mon. Th this Poro needs to warn. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, but here comes Sejuani. Here comes Sejuani right behind him, flashing oh. right on in. Oh. oh man! Oh, but Mantheon's here. When did Mantheon get here? Oh, okay. Well, the oh, gonna go man, and pick up they got J4. a two trade. Yep. Alrighty, so now that evens out the score of two to two in terms of kills. Um, we actually didn't really fully explain of, I think, how, how you win the game for those who are still new. 
Um, basically, after you push down each side of the lane, goodbye, Nautilus. Uh, good night. Oh, and it was a good, uh, <laughs> good trade with Se Nautilus to Sichuan. Oh, yeah. We lost Sichuan there. I mean, honestly, it's better to lose your jungler than to lose your top and bottom laner. So, right. um, we'll definitely take that. But it so yeah, and, and essentially, uh, each side needs to push down their lane and eventually get to the uh, enemy base's crystal. And once that's destroyed, it's game over. Um, and it looks like oh, uh, no. that... Uh, it looks like Nate just got taken out too. Nick. 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 Sweet, sweet, <laughs> sweet dreams, buddy. <laughs> sweet dreams. <laughs> so, all right. So it looks like uh, J4 is going to go ahead and clear out some wards here. The park still has their one over at the uh, bottom bottom push at river that's good and Kali doing some good damage there in the middle oh Nautilus is going to find uh, Parks Ward actually I think they're going to go ahead and start drag yep they are going to start going down drag. at bottom to take out dragon so the dragon whenever a team takes them kills a dragon they get a a big buff that affects the whole team yep and I believe uh, Ocean Drake just does uh, health regeneration yes Ooh, a Kali. Oh, uh, fighting a LeBlanc is, is really, really tough. and Especially so she can get away once you start doing some damage to her. Oh, yeah. And it's so hard. Basically, Nick's job is to survive, get that CC as much as he can. I don't think he can win a fight one-on-one -on -one with LeBlanc. Not with their teleportations and, right. and range attacks. Just not going to work. Um, Mantheon's gonna go ahead and find uh, one of uh, Font Bond's wards here to get it taken out. J4 is gonna do the same for bottom jungle or uh, bottom river. They're doing a really good job of each jungle staying on their each their own perspective side. Yeah, but not not a whole heck of a lot going on at the moment. Um, I mean, currently, in terms, if you look at the top, uh, in terms of gold lead, I mean, Fawn Bon is currently in the lead on gold, but that can easily, that gap can be easily closed. Right, it's not by much. Yeah, not not by a whole lot. About 500. J4, though, I'm pretty sure after grabbing that red buff, he's now going to go for a uh, wonderful little gank, and it looks like uh, our Sejuani is actually here stealing wolves from J4. J4 is going to find uh, find that his land is being invaded. Yep, Sidwani better get the heck on out of there. Vladimir, though, chasing Oh, everybody's after going in there. Yeah. Not, in my opinion, not the best thing in the world to just try to dunk on this jungler here, but um, okay. Um, Kali and Matthew oh. are going to jump in and easily take two kills. Uh, yes, two kills. <laughs> Possibly a third if uh, if Akali and Mantheon can work together to take out this LeBlanc, but she is uh, she's too close to tower right now, too close to home. I don't think it'll be quite possible. And she's really fast to get away. Yeah, but that was a really good trade up. As you can see, that gap is now significantly, you know, closed. Uh, Parks can go ahead and clear out some wards at the bottom there, placing down their own. They're doing a really good job of keeping that ward control. Right. Keep that vision going up. Mantheon here is going to have to take care of the minions there, top lane, get that sweet, sweet money. Everybody's just farming around, trying to get some more gold, clearing vision, like, just what, like you're, what you're supposed to do. Honestly, this is usually what is probably the most boring part of League. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's just this early game build up as you kill minions, you get some items. Maybe you'll see a play or two here. Um, oh no! Holly taking oh. lots of damage, but retaliating really well. Uh, now, if not having any of that today, yeah. Problem is though, is that if LeBlanc comes in, yeah, she was about to do a, a burst on her that would have killed the Kali, but um, it's a good flash. And it uh, looks like Bon Bon is just placing wards everywhere in the bottom jungle there. I think they actually have one. Yep, they have one over by Dragon again. One down here in the bottom jungle. They had one here on the side, but it looks like uh, our ABC took care of that. Parks now got one ward, or two, actually. A really deep ward in their, in their red jungle. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming... Uh, I'm assuming our Sejuani's gonna want to take advantage of that and just stay close down to bottom, but probably, probably not much is gonna happen. And 
Mantheon, oh, Mantheon going just ham. going at it right. Right killer. Oh, but Vladimir's lifesteal is certainly killer as well. We got some faith. Yeah, faith. Yeah, faith in our Have Mantheon. Have some faith in some Mantheon. <laughs> See, oh. now you're going to do too. Oh, oh J4's coming in. He's like, I want in on this party. Come here. Uh, J4 does. Is level six. Oh. Yep, he's going to pop his ulti. So is Sidwani, though. Going to take out that J4. And now oh, man. Left his it might be a two for one spot. Uh, getting hit. By oh, that tower. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, well done. So, yeah, getting Easy hit by that, um, by that tower really screwed Vladimir over. Um, but now Park is now in a position to go ahead and take Rift Herald, I think. Oh, I think he's going to take his blue first, gonna knowing that it's up. First. Yep, that's probably we have no vision down in there either. Perfect. Yep. Oh, Akali. She, she's just one wrong move, and Akali's dead, basically. Ooh. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, my Ooh. God. That was close. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, Mantheon. Black he does not real mess quick. around. He is in it. Too. Oh, my God. That's a good block, too. And it's cool because Sejuani's passive makes it to where she doesn't take any uh, CC. And Font Bon or right slows. on time to take this Infernal Drake here, which will uh, buff attack damage. Uh, hopefully our bottom can do something. No, they no. won't be able to do much. Oh, and that's a second dragon for Font Bon. Which could be crucial. Uh oh, that was my fault here, but my bad. <laughs> um, oh, and Pantheon teleporting bot to come in for the assist. Too much all that uh, Pantheon has really been using his uh, teleport for. And uh, J4 is now going to come into the mix oh, here. Oh, no. Yeah, this is not really looking too good, but it looks like Park is actually going to get away. They they didn't lose somebody, but honestly, could have been a lot and worse. Is Sejuani coming around? Yeah, Sejuani, nope. she was going to be coming around. That one's going to, looks like they're going to head up mid. Bonbon's doing a really good job clearing wards out. I yeah, I do have to give him props for that. Um, Park is trying their best to stay on top of it. It's just it's really really difficult. Their J fours vision scores are doing really really good right now. Oh, and Pantheon potentially getting. Oh my god! Yep. See, Pantheon's too strong. That's why you should have banned him. Pantheon is too strong. Should have should have banned him. This is an obvious ban for the oh. next game. <laughs> right. That is true. I, I I have a feeling Font Bond, no matter if they win or lose this match, they're probably going to be banning uh, Mantheon here, which I'm, I'm sure Nathan is very, very happy right now. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I played you. And it looks like uh, their bottom switched over from bot to top lane. Oh, poor Mantheon. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, And J4 mind. just ulted in and probably quickly regretted doing that. <laughs> He Which, instantly got shredded by Pantheon. I mean, I, I get why they're trying to do this. They're really trying to kill that Mantheon because he's got a seven kill lead right now. Um, that is huge. He he is, I you would consider fed at this point. He's definitely fed. Um, yeah, he's got more kills than anybody, more than anyone on any team. So. Oh, and they're going to go ahead and put Rift Herald down at mid. I okay. can't resist the donut. I'm so sorry. Donuts. Mm -hmm. mm, so good. If you want to get strong, you go ahead and eat some donuts. Mm, that Rift Herald unfortunately didn't do a whole lot of damage, but it was just timed a little bit too late too for early. the bone plating. Yeah, yeah. I think they were trying to get the bloom, the gold from the bone plating as much as they could before the time ran out. Maybe. Yeah, I think that was. You're, you're right on that. No, J4 just finding all those wards. Placing down his own. Okay. It looks like everybody's just... Everyone's just spread out right, right now. Right, everybody's trying to see where they can find an opportunity to do something. Top is trying to go really hard for that top tower. Nick is currently holding that middle lane for um, for a Kali, or it might have been actually a switch up. Uh, you know, Kali again was having a left. Oh, and it says one, he comes in. No, oh, and gets eaten up. Yeah, but unfortunately that ulti on Rexay just wasn't enough to really do enough damage there. Uh, especially oh. with Nautilus nearby and J4 coming in. So. Kai's just too strong. Yeah, oh. too strong. Ooh. 
Man, Finding they are. One. Everybody's up top. Yep, they're gonna easily take top tower, but it looks like we're gonna probably grab bottom tower. Although I like how our uh, top laners here switch to bottom lane. Ooh, Mantheon, gotta be careful. That Vladimir, I know that you've been you've been nomming on him, you know, all game, but he can come back and bite you. Right, especially once he gets back. once he gets starts getting stronger and his life still gets stronger and stronger, he can just heal up really quick. I think Mantheon is currently requesting for services, but uh, looks like Vladimir is actually going to get that for bottom. Um, Park does have an opportunity here to. Um, push in on to mid, but it looks like we're actually going to gather around to our first team fight. Uh, like, big team fight. Because... Everybody's getting ready for that dragon to... Yep. Yeah, dragon's about to come up as well as, you know, everyone's just kind of migrate. They're, they're just all getting ready. Lonnie getting that blue buff just to prepare. Hmm. Now, let's take a look real quick over here on dragon. So there's two wards going on, it looks like. Right. Um, actually, I don't remember seeing what the eye X so, thing... Does that, that mean it sees wards and it kills So them? the other one, our our ward right now is blocking that ward. Mmm, okay, very yep. nice. So our stealth ward is making sure that, that the other control ward isn't being seen by the other team. It's in a really oh, good and place. Panthena just jumps in. Yeah, trying to start a big team fight right here. Oh, really? it misses everything. Everyone's just trying to focus they really hard on that They gotta get that tower. Oh, they are not going to get that tower. J4 is going to ulti right on in. So Juani, oh, I don't think has their quite got killed. Lakan got killed. And Akali got eaten up too. Oh, man. Yep, LeBlanc securing a Was double kill. Was that a 1-4? One, one yeah, Trade. pretty much, yeah. Um, ouch. 1-3 oh, well, one, one well, trade. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, whoa. Four oh, is. Ooh. <laughs> and now they're going to go try to take Dragon. Since Zwani's out of the picture, is it... Oh, and they're backing up. All right. They're scared of that Mantheon. <laughs> He's no joke right now. I, yeah, certainly no joke. And uh, wow, going to uh, really destroy that. Uh, oh, Akali oh, LeBlanc finally landing that uh, that shot on there. Um, yeah, no, ki killing that Mantheon is is going to be key for uh, Font Bond if they want to keep a lead. Right. Um, right I mean, now, uh, LeBlanc's coming up too. She has a 4-0 uh, kill death ratio right now. That's true. The only difference though is that Mantheon is strong. Like right. his, he's got a large health pool and LeBlanc very, very squishy. Yeah, all they had to do is catch that LeBlanc one time. One good time and it's done for her. Now looking at Mantheon, he did build a little bit of MR, a little bit of magic resist there, so that's that's probably going to help a little bit when we see them go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Right now, that's the best. And it looks like uh, Font Bomb's going to go ahead and push for bottom tower, as they should. It's really, really low right now. And, uh, yeah, not all is easily going to take it. Oh, man. Khan gets eaten. Oh, this is too much. This is too much for you. Can you not watch anymore? Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, oh, look, finally got him. I was going right. to say, I'm Jeez. like, we're, we're kind of... All yeah. right, all right. It was a one to two trade. I liked seeing that. Mantheon eating up the gold. Right. You know, <laughs> nom, 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 give me them kills. Getting it strong. We came back with a black cleaver and the Yushima Blade. Oh, my. Yeah, he is um, he's he's very strong, strong right, right now. Now, LeBlanc isn't too far behind with that Luden Zeko. That Luden Zeko is, is a key item there. Right. Looks like, uh, yeah, Fonbon bon is extending their uh, their reach here. Oh, really, yeah. really just trying to take everything. So they got three towers. We only have Park University only took down one at the bottom. So they're kind of ahead right now as far as map control. Well, right now Park is actually pushing for metal yeah, towers. So it looks like two are going to go down. Right. J4 though is going to come in and stop. But uh, minions will go ahead and take care of this tower. Oh, and <laughs> oh, Mantheon comes in from nowhere trying to trying to stop. I everyone. swear, Mantheon's just—he's all over the map. He's coming in, saving lives. Oh, oh no! And the couple, the couple I believe has been slain. Oh no! Yep, there it goes. Sidwani going down as well. LeBlanc chasing after that Mantheon, wanting 
wanting his sweet, sweet, g like, shield and s chainsaw? Is that a chainsaw? <laughs> yeah. Why? All right, no it's wonder he's been telling everybody. It's apocalyptic. <laughs> oh, finally! And Akali takes down LeBlanc. And everybody's... They were... Yeah, bon bon was trying to take Baron, but they were feeling really <laughs> once confident. that LeBlanc got taken out. Oh, they finally take down Pantheon. Oh. It took four of them to take him out. Yeah, that, that was a, in a blink of an eye of how much damage all four champions can do. So I think that's actually uh, Mantheon's here's first death. I think. Yeah, and he yeah, still has a bounty death. on him. Still with got a one bounty. <laughs> <laughs> right, because the limit is uh, 500 gold, and he was at 700. So this brings him back down to a 200 bounty. Um, but this gives him an opportunity to pick up uh, Ghost Blade and Drarm's Fist, so that's going to be... Um, yeah, it's, it's mainly we're going to be seeing Mantheon just crushing people um, as he goes through. Now, the real question is, is selecting those right targets at the right time when the big right. team fights happen. Drarm is going to go ahead and try to take our blue side. All right. See if Sejuani, I think, is, uh, might, might know a little bit on that. I don't think they have vision on them. Yeah, they, they don't have vision, but... Oh, and they went ahead and... S oh, just missed it. Yeah. Only only got there to see the, the crime committed. You know? hate to see it. Oh, and they're stacking up to go to, to pick off uh, Mantheon. And uh, Blood Bud for... Uh, oh, boy, hold on. Let, let's wait to see if Mantheon gets out of this one. I, I don't think he will. Oh, oh. really trying to go for that LeBlanc. Um, so what wards do is they provide vision, and there's uh, usually two different kinds of wards, one that provides vision and one that uh, takes it away or reveals, actually. So more like three. Um, and they also have, like, this kind of um, scanner that some... Sweeping some lens? Yeah. Um, that will help them detect wards that are hitting because wards go into stealth mode after they've been placed. Um, only the ones that give you that full vision. Right. Bon Bon taking another tower from Bot. Yeah, really, really pushing it. in on on, uh, on Park's bottom side here. So it looks like... Um, well, so Park did also get um, top tower as well. So... Park is pretty pretty okay in terms of defense. They're not that yeah, well. Yeah, they're, you know. they're only down by one tower, right. which isn't bad. This is the, the time of the game where you're where both teams are going to be matching up together and doing a five big group fights. Yeah, that's a good Oh, and look at all these these wards here, which uh, they're now going to see Vladimir taking out the ward here in Baron. Or at least I hope they notice that. But it looks like they're more focused here on uh, Infernal Drake happening. So I'm wondering if that's going to be a setup for Baron later. All right, they're yep, going to go ahead and start it. Yep. And so we're going to try to contest it. Using her ulti to, to freeze everyone down. Get that J4 though. And now it's going to be up to J4 and Sejuani to see who can grab Dragon first. Oh, oh J4 is going to just steal it. Oh, and yeah, they take out the Sejuani. Yeah. Yep. All right. Vladimir gets taken out. Okay. Man They're going to go ahead and take out Nautilus, too. Yep, yep, just catching him right out. Should have left. Oh, I feel so bad for Sidwani though. Yeah. That, that. Tried big, so that hard. Big battle right there. Yeah. Oh, and Mantheon coming in to take out Kaisa. Oh, my God. Get out God. of here, Kaisa. You're not welcome, dude. <laughs> oh, and looks like we might pick a fight with LeBlanc there. And we're but... pushing. We're going to push yeah. this tower we need, really we hard. We need that tower. Especially now. after losing that dragon. After losing Dragon and losing um, our final bot tower, yeah, Park really needs to push hard for these towers. It looks like they're gonna go, go ahead and start clearing everything. And yep, take take blue buff from them. Just just take like everything from them. It's right. the only way to to. It looks like they're preparing for Baron. Oh, catching J4 off. Oh. Yeah, J4 should not have Punishing poked, his head, poked his head around. Holly's gonna go ahead in here and uh, clear out these wards. Oh, and they're gonna go ahead and start Baron. Start Baron. Okay. okay, so yeah, so it really looks like Bon Bon is gonna come in. We're gonna see our a huge team fight. And they're, just, I think they're just forcing him to start something. I think so. I think they know, they know they have the better team comp to fight. Oh, man. Uh, everything's gone crazy. Everything's this is, gone crazy. Now gets taken out. Zayag gets taken out. Rakan. Double. 
A oh no, kill. Kaisa's killing everyone! Oh Kaisa. my god! With the triple kill and LeBlanc finishing Just up. Kaisa's Kaisa too strong. Yep, and now they can take Baron. Nope, Damn. They have nobody to contest it. You know, that, you hate that, to see it. You hate to see it, and that was that was the fight that I think actually determined this match. That, right. that was, I think, the team fight. This is going to be a... Where this is gonna go. they, they could probably run it all the way down their middle lane. The only way I can see this... Um, I don't know. They got split push. Right, right, right. That's it. Um, other than that, that that was too great of a loss, I think, at this point in the game. All we can do is try and defend and let them waste their Baron uh, buff out. Yeah, I mean that that's that's usually the the war of attrition here, where waiting for that Baron buff to go before you feel like you have more of a chance to strike back. The problem with that though is that I think they have a big enough lead. That right. that may end up hurting them, and it might be the better shot to split push. Right. Maybe. Um, again, I'm not. <laughs> this is coming from someone who played long, long ago. But well, I think they'll they'll know that they probably targeted the wrong champion. They went in on Nautilus when everybody was already there. All right. And gave the chance for Kaisa to just pick them off. Oh, isn't that so cute? And they're just in the snow. Oh, and Fontmon is going to go ahead here, and uh, I think they're just going to straight up push for mid. Um, or they're going to go grab top lane? Yeah, it looks like they're all shifting yeah. towards the top. And here comes Mantheon to defend it. Ah, uh, but he's all alone. I'm kind of scared about that. Yeah, I, I think he knows. He knows better. Um, LeBlanc just jumping right in, using all her ability power to bring down his health as much as possible. Kali's going to meet up with Vladimir, though. Oh no, yep, they're yeah. pushing top hard. Mantheon is is definitely a, a Spartan, I mean, but he can't hold off against a team of four. <laughs> oh, Park though, coming in to help. Now we're evenly matched. Oh my god. And the action's so real. They're trying to see so real. They're trying to see who can take the first opportunity. Oh, Pantheon comes in to take out Vladimir. Uh, Kali, no, getting poked. Okay. Oh, oh, oh she's taken out by just... Vladimir. Oh, my God. Yeah, Vladimir's blood. Jarvin's in there. Oh, my God. Pantheon Kali gets taken out. Yeah, this is my feet. It With don't. With Pantheon oh. going. Says so Vladimir gets taken to out, too. Back. Yep. Oh. Yeah, they're going to. Oh, Bonbon man. at this, this point is, is going to go for the kill, I think. Uh, they have that momentum. Everybody's dead. They got all the gold. Um, if they were to even die now, it wouldn't really matter much, so they're just going to push right right now. Well, I mean, Shiloh, when you think about it, man, they got three dragons, they got Baron. They, it just comes out to like they, they had a, a lot better map awareness, and, That's true. and they were clearing a lot more of and our wards, so it's kind of hard to... I mean, I, I wanted them to fall back in that moment, too. As soon right. as they lost Mantheon or even lost their first guy... You they, know, they, they wanted to fall back, but they had to defend that tower and inhibitor. But it would probably be, make more sense to have a team of four champions on your last two defending towers. Right, rather than none at all. early on. You're right. So, but I, I don't think there was much that could really be done there. Like I said before. In the moment, it's hard to make those plays. Yeah. I mean, that, that big team fight that happened, that was, yeah, I knew that was the deciding factor. Well, right? Kaisa came in. LeBlanc was pretty fed. And, I mean, those are two... Two strong champions. I mean, yeah, it's it was a really really close game. Um, let's kind of head back over here to is our, that, our yes, team this is Duran. Is that Duran? Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I, I had to like reread that question for a minute. <laughs> um, let me actually go ahead and take a look at our uh, at our feed here. I wonder if the, anything was happening here. Um, oh, the Varsity Esports Foundation followed us. Thank you guys very much for following us, and uh, thank you uh, Hawk for following us as well as Cleffer. Um, thank you. All Your right, support right. means a lot. And, um, yeah, so we're going to currently go into um, – I think they're going to do another pro draft and everything. This might be just a five-minute break. So um, we'll just uh, currently mute things off. I just dropped a lid. Um, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll throw on some quick music here in the meantime until we get invited into the next game. Um, so we'll be back in about five minutes. Take it easy, guys.
settle down and try to get some rest. You lay with open eyes, head against my chest. Much time unfold, and I try to make it back in this raging sea. Cause I'm way too deep. Cause I'm way too As a reminder for everybody to please get your water. Uh, currently, we just actually joined into the match. Uh, we're currently waiting for Pro Draft to start. Um, we won't be able to see any of that, but once the Pro Draft has ended, we will then see who they're going to pick and ban. So see you then.
Real quick update for you guys. Uh, so it appears that um, during the pro draft, it randomly picked a champion that they didn't want. Uh, so they're going to restart it. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to wait to see what happens there. So sorry for the Excuse me. Wow. Sorry for the delay and everything. Um, you know, let me, let me actually take a quick look here. Some announcements. Against the sun. I love this music. It's good music. I mean, you guys are probably saying, Shiloh, why don't you play any other kinds of music? What is this dubstepy stuff that you keep playing? And that's because copyright. <laughs> Literally, just it's it's copyright. I, Monster Cat allows us to play this music because I asked them to, and we pay like five bucks a month. So you were playing Monster Cat. <laughs> um, in any case, uh, just kind of letting you guys know. So we do have a match at 4 p.m. Uh, with the League of Legends team Demacia. Um, that'll be featuring in with Caesar there that you just heard, and they'll be facing off against Southeast Missouri State University. Um, I got word that uh, the Overwatch match, um, the enemy team had forfeited at that point. Um, and Bloodbud, if you're still in the chat, how is uh, what, what's Rocket League going on? Did you guys already start and win, or is it? I, see, I saw it was at the bye today, but I forget what bye means. Besides, you know, goodbye. I know it's a sports term. I just forget. But uh, in any case, yeah, that's that's all that's uh, happening at the moment. So. Um, yeah, see you guys very soon. Okay, taking a look over here, so it looks like they have the uh, pro drafts going on. Um, I figured I would at least show this, and they linked it in the in the spectator chat. Thank you to uh, to uh, Fontbon uh, Esports Spectator for for posting that link in for us, because I'm not getting any of those links. I think it might be posted up in Discord, but I don't have access to. Um, in any case, it looks like Parker's going to be trying to ban out Yasuo and Urgot again, um, as well as Fontbon banning out Silas and Thresh. So basically, the same thing that happened in uh, last game. Um, although Park is now going to ban out J4, so it looks like they really didn't like uh, J4's um, ulti jumping in here. And Fonbon's still afraid of uh, that Jinx as well. So they're going to go ahead and take her out of the loop. Um, and it looks like Park will go ahead and be picking Kai'Sa. Um, interesting, interesting to say the least. Um, maybe they're just trying to prevent Fonbon from grabbing Kai'Sa and they're just going to use it against them. Because I know, yeah, yeah, you can't have two of the same champions on. What am I talking about? I don't know. Um, let me turn that down a little bit. So let's take a look here. And yeah, uh, if you're wondering what happened to Duran, um, you went to go get some candy real quick. Uh, I didn't realize that this was going to be happening like right away. So uh, rest in peace, Duran. Uh, no, he'll, he'll be right back. And then uh, looks like uh, Fontbon's gonna go ahead and take up uh, Morgana. I don't know why her profile picture is really, really tiny. And Park will also pick up Nautilus. Ooh, and we're gonna grab a Rise. Again, picture really, what artwork is this? What is happening? What is Pro Draft? <laughs> Cause I don't even know. Um, Nunu and Willump. Okay, so so, we, so we're getting a Nunu in on Fontbon's side. 
That's going to be really, really interesting. Some some old school champs. So we have Caitlyn and Morgana, Nunu. We uh, not only seen Rise, just oh, it's beautiful. So I find it interesting though that Park is going ahead and picking so far two of the champions that was on Fontbonne's side, um, and it looks like Park will go ahead and ban out LeBlanc, and Fontbonne will go ahead and ban out Sejuani. Really found her ulti to also be really annoying. Um, but uh, I have a feeling that um, we're going to pick up a Zack, I think. I, I'm, I'm betting on Zack being chosen. Um, let's see, there, <laughs> there it is. There's the ban for Pantheon. We all knew it was coming. And Kennen's going to go ahead and get banned as well from Park's side. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the final two on each side is going to be. Um, yeah, they just got to confirm that ban there. There we go. Fontbonne's going to go ahead and take the next pick here for their fourth champion. Kled. They picked freaking Kled. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Well, they, they can have Kled. They can have it. Oh, man. That music is getting really lit right now, and it's getting really loud, I, I, I think. I don't know. It could be different for you guys. Parker's going to go ahead and pick out their next fourth champion here. Come on. It's going to be Gnar. Okay, so it looks like we are uh, got the battle of the... Uh, oh, wow. I, I just... I had the name in my head, and it just... Bah, 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 it just sputtered away into the wind. Um, what are they called? The Gnar and Kled's uh, species. What are they called? You guys are going to have to help me out in chat. It's going to kill me otherwise. Uh, Kane's going to be picked up by Park, and Fonbon's going to go ahead and do its last pick. Let's see what it's going to be. They have their AD carry and their support, as well as their uh, top laner, and I believe Nunu's going to be their jungler, so we're going to be seeing on who's going to be their mid laner. Who's going to be going up against Rise? And it's going to be an Echo. Okay. Okay. Very, very interesting. Um, all right, so it looks like the pro draft is all over. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this uh, this display here. And uh, I'll let you guys know when we're back into, you know, the champion picking part here of when it goes full screen so I can switch to that. I don't want to switch over to the uh, current game right now because it's got the uh, lobby information. So, yeah. Um, right now I'm reading up their chat too, I'm making sure that there's no other issues, and it doesn't look like there is any, so we're, we're good to go. Fontbonne is ready, Park is ready, initiate the game! ba ba Alright, so Yasuo being banned out, we all knew this, we all knew this coming. This, this just gives, uh, let's just face it, this just gives uh, Neuron some time, Mr. Caesar, to come back and uh, join me for this game. Although his game does start in an hour, so I don't blame him if he has to, like, run out of here all of a sudden, you know? It means to be expected. There goes that Urgot, Jinx. Actually, didn't they ban someone else? There it is. There's Silas. I thought it was Silence, then Jinx. There's that J4. Oh man, that headset is loud. Hold on, let me find the cord for it. Where is it? Ah. There we go. Woo. That was really loud. Alrighty. So, Nar's gonna be picked by Nathan, a rock. So he's going to be up top lane, which Rise is going to go middle. Kane is going to be their jungler. And coming through this door here in any minute, you guessed it, go, it's baby, the one and only Duran. <laughs> so, um, not bad timing. I mean, there, there were, so so they went ahead and brought up and linked to the, uh, the pro drop. This is your water. I'm taking your hydration. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, which, by the way, do you want to go ahead and announce your sponsorship? Yes, my sponsorship is 
water. Please drink up, hydrate, and uh, go, go, pick go. up yourself some agua today. All right, so so let me. So this is gonna be all a surprise for you. Um, so yeah, so they went ahead and banned out J four. Okay. They, they did the normal bans Obvious. just like last game. All right. Um, although what's interesting though, and you're gonna see in these last two picks here, um, Park is actually gonna be grabbing uh, Kaisa. Okay. As Switching well it up. as all Nautilus. Right. Oh, they're taking their champions. They're taking their champions, yeah. Ayo. While also throwing in a rise of Kane and a Nar. So, Kane is a beast right now. Kane so, is a super beast. Gets all over the map really quick. And Nar, I hate landing as a Nar. Now, what's funny, too, is that Fontbon went ahead and took our Kled. Okay. Um, I like, I like then that. Then took a Nunu. Okay. For top, no, jungle. Um, Echo's Echo going to be mid. mid. Yeah, Caitlyn and ADC. And then their support. Wow, I've already forgot the support. Um, it's someone, I wouldn't say generic, but is it the rush? <laughs> was in cause six. Oh, okay. Morgana, there Morgana. we go. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, that's, uh, that's not a very gen generic support. Yeah, I was all like, um, <laughs> surprise. Can you imagine a cause six support? That'd be crazy. That'd actually be kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. That'd be really, really fun. So yeah, so a really interesting match up than last game I would say last game is always feels like cookie cutter like it's it's the same right you know setup for the most part this one's a little bit more interesting just a little bit which come on you have 140 champions yeah there's gotta be some like hidden awesome meta with the players abilities and play styles that got that's got to break through but Maybe, maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's more of like, you know, the set of 10 to 15 champions or more are, you know, in the league and everything else is just kind of thrown to the side and right. then they'll update them. And so they're, they're, we're just rotating out Right, champions. especially as the patches come out, though, everything changes up, right, for yeah. each champion. Because then they'll be like, well, we felt like this champion wasn't getting any attention, so we made their damage twice as powerful. Yeah. I don't, you know. Yeah. Uh, Yordle, thank you, Flaming Swordsman. I was trying to figure out earlier about eight minutes ago, or five minutes ago for the stream delay. Um, they picked out the Kled and the Nar, and I could not figure out the name of their species. Oh. <laughs> I I didn't want to look it up either. I, I just So I asked chat, and I knew that they were going to tell me five minutes later, and there it is. So Yordle, thank you so much. Very I well. played a lot of... Um, uh, auto chess, the League of Legends auto chess version too. The TFT? Yeah, yeah, I played a lot of that and I can't believe I, I was like I had the name appear and then it was gone. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we're going to be going into spectator delay. Um, so then, uh, yeah. yeah, on our end, they've already started right over at Park. Yeah, they're or, they're they're, they're currently in match right now. right now. They're they're currently so playing. We just have, we have a three minute delay so that way we're not cheating. We're not so. cheating, but we also need to be. Uh, for Twitch, streaming-wise, we have to be at a five-minute delay, I'm assuming, just to be safe, even though, right. you know, three minutes is, is pretty good. I mean, that sounds good to me. I mean, it sounds good to me, <laughs> but, you know, um, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, so in any case, we'll, we'll just be at an eight-minute delay to just be ultra sure that we're all in, you know, good uh, compliance here with our policies. So... Yeah, uh, what do you think will happen this time? I don't know. Well, I don't know I'm, either. I'm really hoping that they learn, at least Park learned the lesson that their jungler on the other end does, I mean, they were taking out wards, right? Yeah. Uh, so I'm hoping to see more warding on our side, uh, or a lot more ward clearing. That's a big emphasis on, and hopefully they don't let go of so many dragons. Yeah, and that's uh, what, one thing I'm scared about. Dragons. Nunu's really good at taking dragons out by himself. As early as, as, as it spawns. Really? Okay, yes. that so I did not know. That's one thing that I'm kind of afraid about, because once you secure the dragons, that gives such a big buff to the whole team, which gets, I mean, you might not get a lot of gold throughout the whole team. You can be down in gold and kills, but the dragon gets a, gets you buffed up some. And then also, he can probably take on Baron later on, in the early, a little bit easier. Oh, uh, Rift Herald. Rift Herald, yeah, right, right. Yeah, right, Rift Herald, right. he'll, he'll definitely take early. So it's, it's really going to be up to... Uh, our one and only Dingus Khan to uh, to 
Ward and put a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, <laughs> Ward and put all the pressure on him, but uh, he's obviously going to need the help of his team to keep those awards up, as well as, you know, it's just, it's this counter-surveillance. I feel like this game is, like, meant for the CIA sometimes <laughs> because you're just taking out other people's wards and placing down your own, and then they take out your wards, and then you place back at the... It's this constant game. Right. Um, and once you have vision, that's intelligence, and that's... You want to give the enemy team as least amount of intelligence as you possibly can. I mean, information is is key in right. this game. Um, so just heading back over to the roster because I know that our team is going to look back at this video and they're going to be like, Shiloh, please stop showing our faces <laughs> on on live you know, Twitch. And I'm just going to be like, yeah, you, no, you get to deal with it. Because uh, <laughs> I, I am a jerk. I'm a huge jerk. Um, I'm going to see if it can capture the thing there it goes all right it takes a second right. um oh look at those nice skins so nice <laughs> um all right so park is actually now going to be on the blue team while uh Fontabon will be up here at red team at the top and um so let's take a look at cled here because cled has a weird new bar what is that bar so what the top bar is like? So it's split up into two. Oh, and they have oh, to man. pause. Never mind. <laughs> or, or actually, continue. This is the perfect time to continue. Right. So it is cool because you just pause it right there. So <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't kind. So Kled has two bars. The one that's uh, on the left side. That's his actual himself, right? And on his left side is his health of his bird. And once an enemy, once he gets taken enough, enough damage that passes that little bar in the middle, that uh, gray bar, he'll jump off his bird and his bird will just ring around till. There'll be another bar underneath it that builds up all the way that is a count like a cooldown, and when it reaches back up, his bird jumps back on him. And he has a full his bird back on him, basically. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of it's kind of trippy. So if you're going against a Kled, you you have to know that, because <laughs> they'll you'll think that you'll you got him close to killing him, but once that one bar that cooldown comes down, his bird comes on, but he basically doubles his life. And you're right. like, oh man, no. <laughs> so you have to qu kill him really quick. So what's really interesting about all that too is, uh, and, and yeah, uh, if you guys didn't see already in chat, uh, said their ADC game froze. This game has been out for how long? And it still has these issues? Yeah. Yeah, like I, at first, so I know that some of our, um, our, our computers had like, you know, leak just crash. And for, mm -hmm. for a minute I thought, well, maybe it really is our PCs and then I, then I went home after trying to fix one and wanted to play League of Legends myself, and then it froze on my PC. And I went, oh. Yeah, it, do, oh. it does happen a lot. I think this is, uh, what patch are we on? 9.21 Nine. Nine. or 2? Because I know 9.20, I believe, or 9.19 was, that that was a buggy, very, very buggy patch. Like, there was people who couldn't die. There was uh, people flying through the air and falling through the map. Um, <laughs> that was a fun patch. That was some good content there for YouTubers who uh, who do this as a living. Um, and hopefully we can get uh, Naminha back as... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know how else to pronounce your name besides Min. N Min. Him, uh, we'll just call him Min. Min? Minha. No, d no d we'll just say the N is silent and the H's are silent. Oh, Min. So, Min. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> See you. So sorry. So sorry, Min. But it's funny because uh, when you, you're creating your account, I don't know if it's an acronym <laughs> or uh, what, what, what do you think? Was... What do you think it stands for? I don't know. Never, never many in next. You're trying to. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <You're> tr <laughs> I'm just putting random words together now. Dang it! Nothing much in Neverland. Oh, dang. That's and then I don't good. know what the other H's would be. <laughs> triple H? <laughs> yeah, the Triple H. Um, like home, the wrestler? Home, home. <laughs> no, have you ever watched like WWE? No. Triple H? No, no. There was no. a wrestler called Triple H. I don't know what Why it stood for. Why is this triple? Oh, but, is it because first name is an H, middle name is an H, last name is an H? Possibly. Like all starting letters, then Triple H? Maybe. I don't know. That actually, <laughs> that'd be kind of creative. Um. <laughs> Never, what would you say? Never much in Neverland? Nothing much in oh, Neverland. Nothing much in, nothing much in Neverland Triple H. Very well. Very well. <laughs> Th thank you for having a name that we can discuss about while we're waiting for you to, to reconnect. I, ho I hope you watch our stream and go, these guys. These, these boobs. These boobs. <laughs> these knuckleheads. These 
weirdos. I don't know. Welcome to the most awkward stream in all of Twitch. Uh, <laughs> brought to you by water. Yes. Uh, I'm all out. <laughs> it's a sad, sad day. Would, would, would you, kind sir, like a old-fashioned glazed donut hole? No, I can't. No? No, I literally just ate so much candy yesterday. So I had homework that I had You to literally do. said as you I were know. leaving here, be right back. I'm going to go get more candy. <laughs> I know, but as I walked in there, I was yeah. like, oh, I can't. Oh. I quickly had like that instant regret. You, like, no, I can't. You resisted. So I was like, I can't. Do you know how hard it is to go to the store, walk down near that candy? Because they have specifically the candy aisle at super stores now where you, th that's all you see. It's just candy. See, I, I don't have that, but that, when it's at the house, though, that's when it's hard. Oh, when or it's at it, the house? Or when you go to the store and you're hungry. Oh, going that's to the, the store worst. hungry. That That is everyone's first mistake is you're uh, hungry. And you go, yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, I'm going to eat that later tomorrow. I'm going to get all this. And then you end up oh, never crap, touching it. Oh, we're back in. What wow, that was just, quick. Yeah, right. I was. <laughs> I mean, like, I felt like there would be, like, a timer telling us, all right, we're going to restart it in three, two, and we're going. And this is pretty interesting. Uh, our, top, our whole team is stacking up at the top lane. As if they're all gonna Why? invade. Oh, are we going to invade? they're cheesing it. I like this. Okay. They're pulling a Demacia right now. They're pulling a Demacia. This is what so we this... like to do right uh -oh. here. <laughs> uh oh. Southeast, if you're watching, cover your ears. Uh <laughs> Ayo. Ooh. Oh. Oh, so, and he's right there. Look at that. Spotted. Wow. Oh. Kel. And Rocco missed. No. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And now they're all gonna back. You know, that, I yeah, was that there. was a that was a one chance to get them. Although I think uh, did Fonbon find ah yeah, they found they opportunity. To... Right. That's that's really good. You find you're like wait is that is that the entire enemy team <laughs> in one spot up there and I'm way over here? Well, I take that opportunity. Yeah, and Thank it looks you. like Fonbon had an opportunity to put a lot of wards down just to see where their everybody's at. Yeah, and Park, um, well, because of that, they weren't able to put down any wards. So hopefully they'll just use the knowledge of the map and how people normally place down wards and then figure out where they are. Ooh, and Echo's a pain. Re Echo I is a pain, but Rise is more scary, in my opinion. He's ridiculous damage when he gets up to it. Right, right. Um, oh, man. So, yeah, so now we're into the good old-fashioned uh, try to get creeps. There's this weird little peace treaty sometimes with laners. Although, I will admit that Font Bon is not one for peace treaties, it looks like. Um, they they want to do damage and take the CC as well. Oh, new man. New! And they're going in early on. No, the double. Yep. Oh, you New is it. way too oh. good at coming in out of nowhere with such a big snowball. At a level two, yeah, yep. early gank. It, it's perfect for that early ganks, and Park needed to be ready to place down those wars and be ready of, look, they have a new new. We got to be really, really careful. Well, not only that, with the Morgana as well, right? I when mean, that when that big ball just comes at you and hits you, it stuns you oh, and it pushes you up in the air. Right, and Morgana's like, oh, well, let huh, me let me follow up with a stun or a yeah, the snare. Yeah, the snare and boop, done. And that snare's forever too. That's what sucks. I mean, I feel like any stuns or uh, any snares, yeah, they last anywhere between like two to four seconds, but that feels like an absolute eternity. It just gives an opportunity for everybody to start hitting you at that point. When you yeah, move. I mean, it basically, especially in the late game, means you're dead for the most part. Uh, especially if you're by yourself versus you know, others. I don't care how tanky you are. Yeah, that's a very unfortunate for our team to get caught like that. But uh, Nar's doing really, really well at uh, top lane here. Um, oh, and, and there we go. So Nunu and uh, Kane going at it in the jungle to get the scuttle. And the scuttle right now, it's very pivotal to get some experience, especially early on. So it looks like Vince uh, claimed it on the on the top side. Now he's taking his blue. Yep. So right now it's just kind of a a match of just throwing random abilities at each other and uh, seeing seeing if anyone can get any picks happening. Um, it is unfortunate though that Fonbon was able to get that first blood again. I mean, they're, that's they're ahead by 500 one. gold right now. Right. So that, that's some good early game gold there. And uh, Nar is 
He's getting mad. He's, he's, oh. Oh, and Nuno's coming in right behind yep, him. Yep, right behind him with that snowball, but he was, he was oh. able to get away, I think. <laughs> he can get away from this. Oh, but Echo, freezing him. Nobody, yep, man. see that stun was just enough to easily take him out. Unfortunate. Here's Kane over here, yeah. Kane wasn't able to do much, unfortunately. Uh, Rise. Goodbye. I don't know if Rise called out. I didn't see the map if he called out that Echo was missing. Um, oh no, no. Yep. Oh, here comes another. that Nunu. Oh, this is not looking good for Park. This is a really bad. In an instant jump. Yeah. And I hope I hope that wasn't a sign of Jake just giving up there, because I noticed he just kind of stood there and took that last bit of hit. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was dead, but. Right. I hope that's not a sign of saltiness there. Um, Kane, though, is nearby. Poss yep, he's going to make a play here for bottom lane. Nautilus jumping right on in, able to hook in that Caitlyn. Oh, and they burn both flashes. And oh, Nuno's but here in. comes Nunu. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, Kaisa. She tried dodging it, but that snowball is way too big. Kane and Nautilus is now going to be up to them to uh, take out this Nunu and Caitlyn, but. Honestly, it's just better to run to tower safety. Ooh, Nautilus was hoping to really pull in that Nunu to tower, unable to do so. Come on, Kane, make it happen. Come on, Dingus Khan. Oh, yes, taking out the Nunu. Oh, Get that Caitlyn. Go. Yay! All right. Oh. That was. Oh, Caitlyn um, was, was able to manage to take out Kane. So what a trade, I guess. So that was a perfect. So this is a good example of this guy right here. So Fled has that that line of. You see how it went below oh, that threshold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that bottom yellow line is gonna build up, and once it builds up all the way, his little horse, or I don't even know what it is. <laughs> his horse. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's not a horse. <laughs> the bird that he's riding? Yes, the the, the <laughs> bird thingy. Yeah, it comes back and you can ride it again and basically just gets another life, really. And for those that are confused about what's following Echo right now, that's his ghost, and uh, Echo has a wonderful time ability. He's all about time manipulation. Um, so he's able to actually go back in time to where he last was. Um, right. The uh, park can't see that. Um, we can see that because we're in spectator, but uh, normally you can't see that line. You just kind of keep track of where he is and where he's probably going to be if he uses his ulti. Yep. yep. Which it could be dangerous because if you think you're about to kill him, he can always go back in time to a position where he didn't. He had a lot more life. Here these two going at it again. And uh, looking at here, here comes Nunu with his uh, big snowball leading with Echo, finding both our bot laners there along with Kane. Kane's gonna go ahead and try to take out Echo. Oh, oh boy, man. and Kaisa's taking out. Kane's oh. gone too. Kane. Nautilus might be able to get out of here using his uh, Q to get out. I think that's his oh, Q. Ooh, just missing that Morgana. Oop, oh, still getting man. it with her E. Yikes. Farnie's just getting tore up right now. I, I mean, they're really trying, and, and honestly, that gave me right. hope in that bottom of the fight. Um, and here comes Fon Fon, gonna go ahead and take first dragon. Uh, it's now gonna be up to Harp to uh, really just try to take dragon for themselves, and right. then get Rift Herald. Otherwise, this is a really rough start, but I think they can still come out of it. There's, there's right, still, it's, there's it's too early on to see, to see what's gonna happen. Right. I mean, there's too many times where we thought Park was easily gonna win it because they had a really strong early start. Ended up losing, unfortunately. But this is could be the same thing for Font Bond. They could be getting way too uh, overzealous and overstepping their boundaries. Let's take a look over here at bot lane. Looks like they're really pushing in on tower, gonna take out that first plating. All right, all right, all right. And uh, yeah, it looks like Kane is looking out for some wards. Found one right in here. They're probably gonna find one over at that river side. Um, but her lens is gonna hold up. Ooh, Nar really going in, hoping to get that kill. Oh yeah, just well, not gonna get it. Too close to the tower. Too close. Man, Nunu gonna go ahead and take out a ward as well. Having that scuttle is really actually key for that point. See Rise heading back over here to mid, fighting off with that uh, Echo. And um, yeah, it's, I mean, ward placement is, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't, 
It's kind of hard to say. I mean, I, I would say that Park does have an equal amount of words out. Oh, okay. Rise just called out that uh, Echo is gone missing. And I think uh, I think our Rise knows exactly where that is. But here comes Nunu rolling in that massive snowball. It's that... a good thing we have that vision there. They can see both of them there. Oh, yeah. And Kane and Nunu are about to battle it out for blue. Although, I don't think we know Kane's there. So Kane, Kane's going to... Oh, nice. Well done by Dingus Khan. Swooping in there. Though he's going to go right into the belly of Nunu here. Maybe get out. Ooh, using the terrain as best as he can. Uh, uh, get out, Vince! No. Get out! Gotta get out, Kane! Ah, oh, oh. not able to do so, Echo. Ah. that kill. But Ryze was able to take out the Nunu, and here comes Nar support. We're coming in hot! Coming in hot! Come on. Come on, you gotta break out of time. I know it's really hard to do. Oh, man. Oh! Coming in hot. Oh, oh my dear. God. Okay. What is he doing? Lead came in hot. Call Pito. Hey, uh, You're not allowed to ride a bird lizard thing that way. That was not cool. <laughs> Man, wow, that was, um, if it wasn't for him. Yeah, we could've probably had him. We, we, we might have had him. Um, well done, honestly, Pop on. Well, well played with yeah, that. Was, um, that was pretty clutch on, on your end. And here comes Nautilus, poor Nautilus, alone by himself against Morgana and Caitlyn. Not much he can really do here. Yeah, He's especially with that distance. Yeah, the best he could do is maybe do some damage towards the minions, but, um, yeah, he doesn't have range, so that's that's really difficult. I know that feel. And wow, oh, they're, they're just kind of hitting us at all on all angles here. Right, and then if you look down at Harold, there you go. Yeah, right here comes at, Nunu. Early on, it's halfway through, and <sighs> Nunu is so ridiculous. Right, so we can just so eat ridiculous. him up. Oh yeah, they're gonna easily take him out. So, oh boy, Park. Gotta make things happen. I mean, you really were trying with your uh, with your plays, and those were going fairly okay. They were going pretty good. Gave us some hope there, but that Rift Herald and Dragon that's soon going to be coming up is uh, that's, that's worrying. I think Kane actually might meet up with uh, what is it? Is his Cled? name Cled? Cled, yes. Cled. I almost said Krell, like like we're back <laughs> into Star Trek or something. Uh, <laughs> you know, gonna go ahead and take that red buff. Looks like uh, we're starting to finally push out into bot lane here, and they are on their way back on Fonbon's side. All right, and that Caitlyn's pretty strong right now. Nar's gonna get the game. I, I, have a, I have a gut feeling. And as you can see, Nunu, he's preparing. Yep, here comes the snowball. Nar's already oh. a big boy. Oh, there's that he rogue. They able to get him all. Get away. Oh, no. still got him. Still got him, but didn't, yeah. yeah. No, that was too far to, to follow up, which is good. And uh, wow, wards are just covering this whole area here. Right. And one one smart play is to do, instead of having wards all over the map, they'll have them on one side of the map, and if they don't see the enemy there, it kind of gives an indicator that the enemy's on the other side of the map. So that's pretty. Oh, man. <laughs> oh poor Ryze. That Nunu is no yeah. joke. Yeah, he's he's going he's in hot. Hard. He's going in hard, you know, easily using that snowball and then just ulti. Oh, and he's calling in Herald. Calling in Herald, right? To get the rest of the plates, yep. That's an early Herald, too. That's what I try to go for. I like that. Ugh. Oh, that damage. Get out of here. Yep, that damage is too good. good. I think, I think Kane here is going to try to do... Yeah, just try to take out that Rift Herald. That's kind of your best bet. Nar trying to escape. Kled here. Maybe, maybe Nar can actually take on Kled. Maybe, but I don't think uh, Nar is going to risk that right now. Especially. Good thing, good thing is Nate actually plays Kled really well, so he knows the power of Kled. So it's smart of him when he gets away with it. Gets away from it. Ooh, God, oh, I missed it. Dingus was just off, unfortunately. Kurt plating will now fall soon. Fantastic. Right. This is where everything starts to really Man. pick up. That Morgana's no joke. Yeah, Morgana's been doing really, really well. Oh, here comes Nunu again. Man. Oh, Nautilus timing that uh, anchor just right. Even though he got stunned, he was still fine. Oh, and Kane's gonna meet up with that Nunu again. They don't know that he has vision. Thing. Oh, right, it's been suppressed. Poor Rexay uh, can't, you know. Or no, sorry, Kaisa. Kaisa. Yeah, right, right. Kaisa just can't 
I just can't really do much against Caitlyn. Caitlyn's got the range. It's really insane. And then with the Morgana stuns, oh, like that. Yeah, and Dude. Nautilus, I, I can see Nautilus, they, they're going, oh, I, I got the hook in. Let's go in. Never mind, I remember I'm not strong right now. Right. Nunu just constantly coming in here with these snowballs, and they're just going to tower dive him because that tower is way too low, and they're just going to, yep. Secure the kill, get the tower, get on out. Park trying to clear out wards. They're they're really doing better on ward duty. I will say that from last week. And Clutch is doing a really good job at staying close to his tower, so Nate can't go in. Oh yeah, and he's in a position where he can kind of sit back. Oh, oh new, man. New. <laughs> I <laughs> saw that new new. Oh, Nar dodging it though. At this point, that new is pretty strong. Oh yeah, yeah everyone's going to be watching out for new new coming out of the corner with the giant snowball. Oh, and so. Bottom. Bot tower fell. We have mid tower that's fallen. Top tower is still looking pretty good. Nars holding it very well. Right. Bon bon's doing a really good job of taking the objective right now. That gold gap though is is a little bit worrying because um, right now Caitlyn's already got her affinity edge. Um, Echo with his lich bane. Um, yeah. No, like people people are already starting to build up their their big items and. We're not quite there yet. Yeah. But I still have faith. Oh, always. Always have faith. Always have faith in the Rise has Rise has a very good uh, late game Ooh, presence. So Park knows that Nunu is nearby here. I wonder if they're going to try to uh, squeeze in on him. Probably not. Yeah, Nunu's going to go ahead and leave. We have Morgana being stuck up here on top of the river. And I see Kane is nearby. Yep, here comes Nunu. But Park sees him because of the ward. Kane's nearby. Is Nunu maybe planning on sneaking from behind? I don't know. A lot of empty promises here. <laughs> Man. We have Gnar now down below. Here comes Nunu. That big snowball, I swear. Oh, gonna hit up Nautilus, and that's just fine. Nautilus does not care. Oh, Kane. Oh, Nunu Rex finally is... died. Yeah, Nunu finally died. Uh, Kane did quite a bit of damage there, though. Really trying to go for that Morgana. That Morgana needs to fall, and there she goes. Rexay getting in for that double kill, but we're gonna lose some game to Caitlyn. And, ooh, Rexay got saved, but directed camera totally just... Oh, no! Oh, Echo, securing oh, two kills God. easily. Unfortunate. Uh, no, no joke right now. Oh, and that's Kled versus Nar. Nar! Oh, Nar, Play finally. To take that. There we go. But we are going to lose top tower, unfortunate. Both two top towers. Oh boy, I wonder what uh, what's kind of going through Park's mind right now. They're probably in a little bit of a panic mode, um, but are able to se secure kills. It's not like a full. We're not losing it. Right. Oh my goodness! I forgot <laughs> that Nunu can even throw the snowball. Oh man. Nar, just get out of there. Run, Nar. I want to say they're preparing for. Dragons the dragon come, come up, yep. right? It's probably at the third dragon. Uh, I imagine Fontbon is then, if they can secure this dragon kill. This uh, next dragon, dragon will also help him kill uh, Baron. I was going to say, they're going to go straight to Baron after this yep. dragon. Uh, well, as soon as Baron spawns, whenever that is. Or that at least they're going to start warding it. Yeah. Then it'll be up to Park to try to read that and place down their own wards near Baron and maybe steal it. I have a feeling Fawbon's gonna be the first one to try to find Baron and take it out. Right, especially with the new new. Yeah, especially with new new here. Oh man. Oh boy. And here's Kane meeting up with uh, good old Echo, and here comes Nunu joining into the fight, which uh, Kane is lucky to be able to face through walls and you know, break laws of physics. This team fight's going everywhere. I do not have a big enough camera for this, okay? It, this isn't this isn't good. Echo's oh, gonna go Echo's down. Echo's out. Kaiso's out. Yeah. Caitlyn is still uh, up and running. Kane's still up. Oh, no, oh, Kane okay. distributing that damage. 
say it ain't so. Nah, I can't look Rise is out too. Eyes, yeah. Oh. Yep, those were some good uh good picks though. Oh my god. I think we're gonna heal up. Should've taken the caffeine pill. Oh my goodness, that those donuts are getting to me. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like Bonbon's gonna go ahead and push down here in the bottom lane, and yeah, and the mid too. Yeah, they're probably putting pressure all over the place. Oh yeah, and that's the best way to do it. Right and they're now, getting, I think they're getting ready just to. I think they want to take one inhibitor down, just so they can go straight into Baron. Oh, that was a good hook by Nautilus, stopping that Nunu from uh, using that. That Nar can at least get away. Come get, on, Nar. Oh, oh, oh and he yeah, transformed. Oldies. Let's go. Get big. Uh, oh, and Goodbye, King got that Clay. kill. That's what I'm talking about. And that Nunu got go. killed. That's yep. what I'm talking about. <laughs> very good. Very good by... Uh, Let's go. All right. By Team Bilgewater here. They really need to keep that going. Keep... Just, right, keep that momentum going. Pick them up. Pick them up. Just pick them up. Because um, right now, they are not good for team fight situation. Although Nar. You know, being Gnar, being able to toss right. somebody up like that is way too handy, but... Oh. What, what did we say? Yep, they're going after right now. Oh, right now. Um, now, granted, Nunu's dead, so... But he'll be coming back He's coming. Soon. Yep, he's already spawned. He's coming yep. in hot. Yep, they're going to be with like, the right, guys. Snowball. He gets him get, gives him the ability to get back into lane faster. Yeah, look at him go. Na, 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 na. Oh my oh. goodness, <laughs> that is ridiculous. And he's going straight to Baron. New is so powerful. Oh, nice. is... Right, please, please nerf, please nerf. So right now they're just making sure that, that there's uh, any wards around. And it looks like they're, oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna, gonna start go it. For it. Yep. Ark is just not in a situation right now. Look, why are there wards? So there's so many wards here. <laughs> None went to Baron after you knew they took out Dragon. No. Yeah, they're very gonna unfortunate. And this is going to be the big power buff that they're going to need just to push straight through mid. Yep, so right now... They won't even have to worry about anything at this bon point. Bon bon has that recipe of yeah. victory right now in front of them. Um, and it looks like Bon Bon's spread out right now, and they're pushing all lanes. And that's what I'm hoping they'll stay that way, because that will break the formula. If they just keep losing people by picks and everything like that, I don't think they'll be strong enough to fully push onto the two towers. Right there, and, and he gets caught, and that Nunu's getting eat up. Oh, oh no, that Nar is so getting enough too. Ooh. Oh, good block by Nar there. And then we see uh, Rise off to the side was hoping to maybe uh, do some damage against Nunu. And oh, and that so. Nunu gets eaten out. All right, okay, I like that. Well done, King. Uh -oh. Well done. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, Morgana, though. Morgana, no, blood. no, Morgana, don't. Oh, Jordan the fight with Kled over here, okay. Bam, Kled gets eaten out. Rise, though, oh, Rise gets to Caitlyn. Caitlyn's really strong right oh, now. Oh no, She's got her that items. echo's in there. Oh, that damage. And they took the bottom tower. Yep, there's not Forget. much. Oh my god. It's basically going to be up to, I think, a teamwork of both Gnar and with Kane to take out Caitlyn. Because Caitlyn right now has the... She's got the AD power. And right, she and she has her. that range. Yeah, she's got the range she needs to be taken out quickly. Uh, just as much as Morgana. Yeah, they're so. taking out all... They took top and bottom inhibitors. Now they got his mid left. Ayo. Well, it looks like they're gonna take yeah. out their jungle. Yeah, they're they're gonna go ahead and take out jungle, get some gold, fall back, finish up the build for their items, and then head back straight to the fray. And by what it looks like here, Park doesn't have much of a chance in terms of items and everything. They're just a little bit too underworld right now to face them head to head right. in a team fight. Um, but again, if they could just do picks and see if they can catch anyone off guard. <laughs> Maybe. I, yeah. I can see it. I can see One that. One at a time if they pick him off. Yeah. yeah. But what do I know? Ugh. What do I know? I could be totally wrong. It actually looks like they're going for getting ready for another dragon. Oh, yeah. But Which Park I mean, knows. Right. Knows this stuff. Hopefully. They know they're going after dragon right now. At this point. Maybe. Kane. Hello. No, they're, there's no, no way they're, they're, they're just going to let him. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know this is suppressed, but... Yeah, they have no vision in there. But still. Did... Wait, did they not see it all? No, they, they probably know. knew, but there, there's no way. They have two inhibitors down. I guess. Pressure's getting yeah. hit. Yeah, they, they can't contest right now. 
No, yeah, you're right. You can't. Ayo. And then Nautilus gets caught with the Morgana stun. Oh, I, just can't do it. I hate it. You hate to see it. You <laughs> right. just hate to see it. Just one good pig. That's... Here we go. It's oh, about yeah. to happen. Yeah, yeah, we're we're about to have a big team fight this is it. right here. Whichever whoever wins this fight is gonna win the game. Yeah, if Park or, I guess win if Park wins this fight, they have to defend, and then they got right. one more fight, and then they can got. They still got work to do. Um, I really feel like it's going to be up to Nar. Oh no, man, that oh. echo's coming from nowhere, man. And here comes the team this fight. Ridiculous. Nautilus jumping right in, probably going to use his ulti right away here. And Caitlyn's just taking out everything oh, right yeah. now. She she just does massive damage. Right Especially now. in the back end. Oh, the, uh, who is that? Dingus no. Khan doing the best that he can, but being taken up at that Morgana. Uh, oh, uh, Rise getting God. stopped by uh, Echo and then Caitlyn. Caitlyn's just Rex lighting Rex everybody up. Yeah, it's over. Oh my it's God! Over. Yeah, Nar, Nar doing the crying emote. I'm so oh, that makes me so sad. Oh, Park, well <laughs> fought, well fought, guys. Dang it! Yeah. Bring him in there. Yep, get him. Yay! At least Nar, got Nar, Nar got That's the what I'm talking about. There that's what go. I'm talking about. <laughs> Way to go. Alrighty, well, that's going to conclude this matchup here. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a small 20-minute break, I'd say, before we start up the next stream for now Team Demacia. So you need to go get ready, sir. All right. Well, get on over there. Fun, guys. It's nice chatting, y'all. Hey, if you guys can, please share the channel and spread the word. Thanks. I love you. Have a good day. You hear that, guys? He loves you. He loves all of you, so please make sure to uh, follow. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go into a, uh, a long break here, and um, we'll see you guys very, very soon. you